So welcome guys. I have with me again Matthew Olorleke, a very, very sound football mind, one that you want to listen to when he talks about football, especially from a tactical perspective. I respect him a lot. Thank you, Matthew Olorleke, for joining me all the way from Padova in Italy. I got that right. Very true. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Homer. <laughs> and uh, good evening, everybody. Well done. Thank you. For a, for the first time since he started playing for Portugal, without being injured, Ronaldo was was asked to sit on the bench. I don't want to say bench because he told me that he wasn't bench. It was a tactical no, decision. Ronaldo no, accepted, yes. accepted to stay and let them play. Let Not them that play. he's on the bench. Okay. They are good language. Accepted to to to. To let them play, and they played, and then they won well. No, what what I I, I saw in that um, uh, in that um, uh, lineup or technical, uh, um, how do I say it? The technical, technical technical approach or technical decision. The, the, no, the technical lineup. Yes. Because I call that in Italian, in Italian word, a jetone. That a does jetone. that mean that you know the coin. The coin, like when you are going to buy something from the from the from the vend, vend, uh, yeah, uh, vendor machine, yes, yes you yes. you have to put it out and you slot the number you are trying to buy. Yes. That is what the acceptable acceptance of Ronaldo being on the bench. That if if Paraventure, the uh, Portugal team were losing one nil, Ronaldo might come in even five minutes. Okay. So the, so, five minutes he should come. because Ronaldo is there, not that he's on the bench, he's there to see where he can come in to help the team. Good, 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 good. So, basically, what you are saying is putting Ronaldo on the bench. I mean, it shows one thing, and that is that Portugal is a very strong team because no, it shows the that they are, they are united, yeah. And it shows that what they are trying to do, the message they are trying to play across, they are trying to manage Cristiano Ronaldo at his age. Fantastic. I mean, that because that's because that's that brings about communication. You know, yeah. when you communicate to people, you tell them your reason, you let them understand where you're coming from. Definitely, it might that was that was why I said he accepted, not this being on the bench. Okay, so he accepted. He's, he's, Aside, yeah, to stay aside, to stay aside. <laughs> and they did it well, they made him proud. Now, let me say this. I think that what has happened to Ronaldo is actually a blessing in disguise. Because I think that at this age, he shouldn't be the, the focal point of any team. He's 38 years old. And that is why, let, let me make my point. You can't take it away from him. You yeah, can't. I agree, but you cannot do it as you used to do it in at 25 or at 30 or at 32. So I think that what has been done is good for him because at this point, let the younger players who are still active do the job for him. If God makes it happen, they go and win the World Cup, Ronaldo's name will be etched in gold as a player who has won the World Cup and one of the greatest of all time, even if he doesn't even score a goal. So what I'm trying to say is, is this a blessing for Ronaldo that he's not being the main man for Portugal anymore? I've never been a fan of Ronaldo, but I'll tell you what is happening today. What is happening today? Is that... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Go on. I've never been a fan of Ronaldo. I really accept is uh, I really respect him yeah. as a player at this age, being yeah. active and being even more even proactive. What yeah. I'm saying is says that Ronaldo presence definitely is always a message. Yeah. Playing or not, definitely already God has he has this blessing presently, being his own image already is branded already. Of course. So, of course. so giving space to I don't think he want to give space to anybody. There, I don't like him. But what I'm yeah. trying to let put in place that probably the coach, the 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 the, 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 the president I think Santos, the Santos yeah. he, he knows he knows the button to press on Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes. So you understand him more, and it, we're talking about experience. And uh, with this, you know, in a crucial match like this, playing Cristiano Ronaldo, letting him to start from the bench, I yes. think they, you must have the right button to press. Of course. Now I want to put you on the spot. 
They played without him. They won by six goals to one. In the next game against Morocco, if you were Fernando Santos, would you start him on starting? Definitely, I will start Ronaldo because he's rest already. Why will you start him? When without at this him, age, him? at the age you said it already. At the age Cristiano Ronaldo is today, he needs rest. Mm -hmm. Good. So he has rested well. And he has yes to perform. I think so. I'm sure. So, I'm sure. So don't you think that will be doing a disservice to the confidence of the young guy Goncalo, Gonzalo uh, Ramos, who scored three goals yeah. on the debut? They all the love him. Uh, Ronaldo. What you know, do we do to him and the team spirit? In Portugal, they love him. Yes, they love people and also, I, some people also are saying now that he should stay aside. No, they, <laughs> they love him, they, they support him. They support him. And uh, the fact is that I I pray he perform because Cristiano Ronaldo has nothing to de to demonstrate about his own account. He has done it before and uh, I think he's doing it. I'm, I, I, what I'm looking at is that there are a lot of things guided with Cristiano Ronaldo in the national team. And okay. uh, even in the World Cup. You still have not answered my question. You have coached the team before in the Serie B. You have coached in the Italian League. You have brought in a player who has never played in this World Cup. His first game, playing in place of Cristiano Ronaldo, he scored a hat-trick. And the next crucial game, you put him on the bench and play Ronaldo. This is my question. What would you do? Okay. No, the, no, it depends on how well you communicate with your team. Okay. This is where I'm coming from. If you have to, if you have to recall it back, the player that won them the drop the goal for yeah. the Europa Cup they won, he has never played before. Anyway, that's true. Elder, correct. <laughs> Do you know that he has never even played one minute wow. in the tournament? Wow. And he was the one that entered in the place of Cristiano Ronaldo and delivered. Yes, correct. You remember that? Yes. I remember, of course, against France. So, what I'm talking about here is that I'm bring, bringing this about that, you know, you have to understand, being a coach, how to communicate with your players. A player like Cristiano Ronaldo on the bench, he, I think, is a, is a, is a biggest news over of course. And, of course. and 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 luckily for them and then the choice they made it it works yes and this is the and, second and they say you don't change the winning team <laughs> yes you don't change the winning team that is true but yes. remember he was playing before they qualified and for the and of course to be fair they were also winning yeah, that's true. So so if we're talking about you don't change the winning team remember he played only He's one part game. of the winning team Right, correct. No, that you know, we're looking at the winning team. No, not at the end result. You're looking at how do we get to the end result? True, true, true. To keep winning. And to keep winning, you are saying that they need Ronaldo, right? For me, for me, the presence of Cristiano Ronaldo counts in a game for Portugal at Saturday. No, I agree. I agree. Ronaldo, Ronaldo on the pitch, like you said, is half goal. You know, Ronaldo on the pitch is just as if when we are when we have Rashidi Yakini. Do you remember? Yes, of course. With back to goal, he can score. With eyes closed, he can score. Rashidi so, Yakini used to only say said Yakini used to tell him, just give me the ball, no worry. <laughs> no, you know what it counts. We're talking about you know, football is a group game. And yes. once you have people on the pitch that are giving you confidence, you know, it's just as if there's the word that said, if you must go to a war, you must choose your army. So if you don't have the right hand, you will be the first person to die. So definitely, once you're looking behind you, you see somebody that okay, gives you that confidence. Definitely, is is present, even present as he's present, is even scary. Okay. So, but you must agree with me that Fernando Santos right now is in a difficult place. He will be thinking of what to do next. Play Ronaldo. Absolutely. No, already he has already already he has he has he has done he has, he has done done with the thinking. Okay, he's already taken a bold step by benching Ronaldo, putting Ronaldo on the bench at all. So now that puts him in a more difficult situation because I am sure he never expected Gonzalo Ramos to score three goals. Nobody. That's true. That's correct. That's correct. But now the coach now we want to, as being a coach, I want to take the merit and say, okay, I've done this because I know that this will happen. Yes, exactly. Of course, and that's what happens. He gets the credit. 
So now he has the experience. The coach has a very big experience, and um, you know, you know, with I seen, I think with the relationship with Cristiano Ronaldo and the coach, definitely there wouldn't be a tr there wouldn't be a problem if Cristiano Ronaldo is to sit on the bench again. But I foresee Cristiano Ronaldo is going to play in the next game. 